The main review this week is the Need for Speed on the 3DO, a spectacular road racer. Brought to you by the same people who invented Road Rash, it has a similar feel, but with one big difference. You've only got one opponent to race against, although there are other cars on the road. There are eight cars to choose from, including this Porsche. They all handle like the real thing and they sound amazingly realistic. But how does it play? Here's Sir Hale. It's more of a car driving sim than an arcade action game. The attention to detail is exceptional, but it's not quite as much fun as Road Rash. There are three tracks in the game, each divided into three sections. This is the Alpine track, which has some amazing scenery. I'm driving the Ferrari here, which is quite hard to control at first. Although there are other cars on the road, there's only one opponent in this game. This yellow car is my opponent, and I'm just overtaking him now. You can pick your opponent's car as well as your own, so you can make things easier or harder for yourself. I'm on form today, so I think I'll give him a Diablo. The best thing about this game are the spectacular crashes which you can watch over and over again from any angle in all their destructive glory. This is the worst part of the game. As in Road Rash, the speed cops are everywhere and you have to be pretty nippy to avoid getting a ticket, which evidently I'm not. This is a stunning looking game that would certainly benefit from some extra tracks and a two-player option. I'm looking forward to the sequel. The level of realism is absolutely amazing. I could happily play this for hours. This must be the best looking console game in the world. These graphics wouldn't be out of place in an arcade. And the scores for the need for speed. The girls went into overdrive and gave it five, but the boys stayed in fourth gear.